So what is 40 plus 0 equal to, John Robert? 40. And how do we prove that by the cars? video and so we're going to give a couple of math problems first uh, these are big math problems and John Robert didn't have, have enough cars to equal one for each one of the so we're going to have to do them by five so we're going to do them by five so the first problem that we're setting up for so what is 40 plus 0 equal to John Robert 40 and how do we prove that by the cars so five eighths is forty. Five. You go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Right. Yep. All right. Then we have to so, John Robert, what is forty plus five? Forty-five. And put the car in there to represent it. You got the forty plus the one car equals. Forty-five. Forty plus ten is forty plus ten is fifty. And count it by the cars. And so we got uh, uh, public servants on both ends of the line. On the line down where you're close to me, what do we have on that Fire end? Fire truck. And what do we have on the other end? Police. And what does the police car say? Gotham City Police. And you, yeah, what, did you, what did you tell them that was saying earlier? I keep the kids in Gotham from danger. Very good. Now we're going to set up for a big race. Big race, rolling, take one. Let's try another one. Launch that second one. Crash. Crash. Hey, look, it actually landed on this wheel, so. Not bad. All right, next one. Next one is, is probably going to sound squeaky. That one didn't go very far. Let's see if I can get one to push push that car. This one's probably going to be going fast. It crashed, too. Every single one of them's crashed, haven't they? Last one. So which one landed the furthest out? So it looks like, even though that most of the crash, the one that landed the furthest away from the racing track was the Gotham City Police. So guess who won? Gotham Police. Yep. And looks like the blue one. The fire truck came second, followed by this other vehicle, which also says police on it too. And then. Hang on, which one are you talking about? This one right here. This one. Now this one I got, got the camera pointed at. Right here? Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's the golf from City Police. All right. Uh, so, John Robert, uh, first of all, we learned how we can represent bigger problems by using multiples of 5 or 10, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Does that make it easier? Mm-hmm. Why does it make it easier? It makes it easier because you skip count by 5, like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you have less objects you have to count that way. 
And, uh, well, we also learned something about the laws of aerodynamics when we was doing the racing because it's a, it's a very moist, uh, rainy day outside. What happened to all the cars when we tried to launch them? Crash. Which tells us that probably if you try to launch cars or the Hot Wheels track on a rainy day, uh, that probably they're going to have problems, aren't they? And yet, well, yet it, uh, this is a little bonus uh, information for our viewers. Uh, you have in your hand something you're going to be trying when we go fishing again. What is it? Ray, Ray, this right here. Yes, it's Rage Tails. But what kind of flavor or scent do they have? Coffee. Can you imagine a fish drinking coffee? That would be a funny sight. There he goes with his one line. <laughs> And on that note, what do you want to tell the viewers? I call one little band on this one for something late. So you've already used some of these and they're right, they work pretty good. And with that, we're going to wrap this video up of what you'd like to tell the viewers at home. And you want to say bye to the viewers. Bye, viewers. See you next time.